welcome to my channel my name is Kayla today I'm going to be going over a few unique tips on how to use your airbrush machine these are going to be really fun ways that you can utilize your airbrush machine and be more creative other than just using it for your foundation or um, regular applications so let's just dive right in in this video I'm using my attempt to airbrush machine this is the airpod Pro, and I already have some color that I filled in this top pod here so you can undo the cover and I bought the full kit which comes with this pack of little mini foundation pods and I just kind of mixed together these two foundations 9 and number 12 so what I'm doing today with this machine is first I'm going to show you guys how to create a faux freckle effect to make it easier um, so it's just a piece of paper that I poked some holes in with some, some tacks and then created different sizes and what I'm going to do is hold it against my skin and then go over it with the color to create that faux freckle effect and I'm going to lay it over the spots that I want the effect and make sure it's really flat onto your skin and then you're going to turn it on I'm going to Put it on the medium mode to get medium flow and then you're just going to go over this piece of paper so you'll get a really subtle effect with this first layer and then you can keep adding layers and also keep adding depth to your color so you can have lighter and darker shades of freckles so I'm going to add definitely a lot more freckles so let's add a little bit to the other side. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some to my nose. Why are you watching me? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put some more holes in this paper and I'm gonna use my thumbtack. Don't hit your finger, please. All right, let's try this again on this side. So it does take a little bit more time than just dotting it on your face. <laughs> Stop looking at me. Well, you keep looking at me, yeah, distracting me. Well, stop looking at me. I don't like being watched. <laughs> um, yeah, so you could um, just create more of a dramatic stencil and then this would come out a little bit more intense. I'm going to keep going in and adding more and more layers and then I'll come back and show you guys the full effect. Alright, so I finished adding uh, more freckles and I added darker tones as well so I could get a variation of colors. And I really think this looks like the most natural I've seen faux freckles. So I really enjoy doing it this way and I'm sure there's stencils out there that are already pre made for you so that might be a bit easier and also the ones that can kind of stick onto your face are way easier than having to just keep moving it around um, and using a piece of paper but if you want to be crafty you can go ahead and do it yourself like I did the next thing I'm going to create is a brow with my airbrush machine something that sparked this inspiration for me is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow stencils and I was like I never use these but it's good for people that don't really have brows and you need like a good structure to be set up so I'm gonna use these as my stencil for my airbrush so in the pack there's several different types of brows you have a high arch you have medium arch petite arch full arch and a slim high arch. You can go close to your natural brow or you can try something that is not what you already have just to see how it would look. I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for this medium high arch. It's kind of close to what I already have so we'll see how it fills in and this is kind of like a plastic sheet material so it kind of does stick to your skin which makes it easier. I'm going to start by placing it over my brow and then I'm going to see how the shade looks that I just used with my freckles. 
I'm going to start at the tail end and I'm going to just start at the lowest power on my machine. Well, that might be a little bit too orange. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, let's just see how the tail came out. Oh wait, that's actually really nice. Alright, the color ain't bad. I'm gonna go over it again and go into the beginning of the brow. Ooh. Oops, I just smudged my... That looks so good. So I'm just going to brush through this with a spoolie, but wow, that's really nice. And that's actually really close to my actual arch in my brow. That's fun. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and show you guys. Before I forget to mention, I'm using the same stencil. I have to flip it to the other side in order to create the other brow and I have product on this so just make sure you clean it off before you go and flip it to the other brow. All right, finished my other eyebrow and in the stencil it has this like line here and it just created like a cut in my eyebrow and I really like it. I think it looks pretty badass so I'm just gonna leave it. Um, so yeah, this is the complete look with the airbrush brows using my Anastasia Beverly Hills stencils and i don't think i can do my brows any other way now i think this is it it was super easy and super fast definitely faster than the freckles um but still worth it all right next cool thing i'm gonna create is something that they used to do back in old hollywood is they would fill in their hairlines and create a fuller hairline in the front of their face and also down the part of their hair so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that with the airbrush machine. First, I'm gonna pull my hair back because I have very unique hairlines. Um, I definitely get this from my dad. So thanks dad for this hairline. Mm -hmm. I'm um, gonna fill this in and show you guys how easy it is to create a fuller effect with your hair. And you can pretty much just do this too in your part and it will create a thicker section for your hair. So, since this color worked for my brows, I'm gonna go ahead and try it for my hairline. So, going on the lowest number again, because I'm kind of scared to try this full blast, I'm gonna start in the hair a little bit, and then bring it down to meet the top of my hairline here. I'm gonna darken this up just a little bit. I'm gonna add some more of this shade 12. All right, this is looking very um, orange compared to my hair. And bring it through the front just so I get that same kind of blurred effect throughout the hairline. Got a little bit of a speckle effect on my skin here, but you can kind of smooth that out. So this clearly isn't my exact shade of my hair, but you can see how if you got the right color, I don't have enough. My hair is like hard to match in general because it's red, but it's blonde, but it's brown, but it's like, it's just hard to match. But if you got something more spot on with your exact hair color, you could see how this effect would really fill in those spots that might be really thin blonde hairs or if you have any patches that you're missing hair. So it's pretty cool. I'd recommend trying this out if you're going to an event and you're getting pictures taken. It really helps to kind of fill everything in and create that volume in your hair that you might not be able to get with just hairsprays and teasing and all of that. All right, so last but not least, I'm gonna go into a trending eye look that's happening right now, which is doing a taped wing liner 
I'm pretty sure this has been done before, but I don't know. I think people are reinventing the way you put the tape on your face. And so I'm going to just show you guys how to tape off a wing and then create that liner effect using a dark airbrush spray. So I'll be right back and get everything taped up, ready to go. Okay, I am taped and very uncomfortable, so I'm gonna do this quick. So I lined up the tape with the bottom of my lash line and then starting at the middle of my lash line, lining that edge of the tape up to then meet with the bottom tape. So there should be, hopefully, a nice wing once I fill this in. All right, let's turn this on and start at the lowest setting and start filling in the ends here. Ooh, you, you gotta close your eyes for this a little bit. That's pretty nice. I did a darker brown wing for this, so you can do a completely black or any variation of colors. You can get any color tubes for your airbrush foundation and really get kind of funky with this. So I really like this for doing a stencil with an airbrush. Um, the tape definitely is uncomfortable. Maybe if you have more of like a medical tape would be better. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and show you guys the complete look. Okay, back with both wings on. And struggled I with this eye a little bit because I wanted to make sure that it was even with this side. I think it looks pretty rad. Thank you all so much for watching my video and learning these new fun tricks with me with this airbrush machine i'm looking forward to creating more with you guys so thank you all again and looking forward to seeing you next week please like and subscribe